Hello guys, here is Shuli and you are welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to show you how to make perfect porridge of Loki. Loki means bottle gourd. In Hindi we call it Loki ki khir. Commonly while making bottle gourd porridge the milk starts to curdle. But now I am going to show you the secret trick of making smooth and creamy Loki ki khir. And I must say that this porridge is so much yummy, delicious and soothing during this summer season. It's very easy to make but there is a small trick to make it perfect. So guys let's see the recipe. For this recipe, I am taking one bottle gourd and now we need to peel it off and after that we need to remove the inner core of this bottle gourd. So now I am dividing it into two portions like this and uh, the core portion of the bottle gourd that means the CD portion, we need to remove it like this with the help of a spoon. We need to do the same thing for both of the parts and after that I am going to wash them properly. So after washing here are they. Now we need to grate them. So I am taking a fine size grater as you can see. Don't take a big size grater for this recipe. So let's grate the bottle gold. So after grating. Here it is and now we need to squeeze the water from the bottle gourd, grated bottle gourd of course. So we need to use our hands, no need to use a cotton cloth for squeezing it, uh, only use your hand like this and don't squeeze so much water from the bottle gourd, just we need to remove that excess water from it. So let's do it perfectly and this is the water I am removing. And here is our Loki, that means bottle gourd. Now I am taking a frying pan and adding some ghee. Ghee means clarified butter. 2 tablespoons of ghee. Mm -hmm. And now let it heat well. And after that we need to fry the bottle gourd in ghee. So it is ready now. I am adding the bottle gourd into the pan. We need to fry it well for about 3 to 4 minutes with two simple ingredients. At first I am loosening it, spreading it well in the frying pan and after that we need to add some salt. Yes, we need to add 2 pinches of salt only. Don't add too much salt for this recipe, it is a sweet dish. So we need to add only pinch of salt to enhance the taste of sweetness. So I have added 2 pinches of salt only. And now I am going to add the secret thing of this recipe that will prevent the milk from curdling. It is a secret and no fail trick for this recipe to make it perfect and the secret thing is baking soda. Yes guys it is baking soda that means edible soda and we need only one pinch of baking soda for this recipe. Don't add too much, only one pinch and it will help make our porridge perfect. So after mixing very well, we need to fry it on medium heat uh, for about 3 to 4 minutes and we need to stir it continuously like this. So after 4 minutes, this is the texture of the uh, bottle gourd. You can see that it is transparent in color and quantity is so much decreased. So now we need to add milk. I am taking 1 glass of boiled and thickened milk with the malai. Malai means uh, milk cream. So I am taking 1 glass of milk for this recipe. You may increase the milk quantity if you didn't boil it previously. So I am taking only 1 glass because it is thickened previously. So after mixing everything well, we need to uh, wait for some time until it starts to boil and no need to cover the pan while making the porridge because it's milk to boil and with a lid it will be all full because uh, it will come out from the lid while boiling. So we need to stir it occasionally so that it can be cooked evenly. While the bottle gourd is cooking, I am going to add some dry fruits. I am taking some almonds and some raisins but you may take any kind of dry fruits as you like or as available near you. So after adding dry fruits, we need to cook it for another some time until the bottle gourd is cooked 100%. We need to check it occasionally of course, the heat should be on medium and after some time, after about 5 to 6 minutes, I am checking it and it is cooked fully, cooked 
So after it is cooked fully, I am adding some sweetness. I am adding one fourth cup of sugar according to taste and half teaspoon of green cardamom powder for a nice flavor. You may use jaggery instead of sugar, there is no problem. And after adding the sweetness, we need to uh, thicken it up. That means we need to cook it for another some time to bring our desired consistency. So now the consistency is perfect for me. I like it very much and it's so much creamy to look. So now I turn the heat off and now I'm serving the porridge to show you. You can see guys that it's so much creamy and so much smooth to look at. The milk is not curdled at all. It's very much smooth texture. So guys don't forget to try my simple trick to make a perfect porridge. Try this recipe and don't forget to share your experience with me. Hit the like button guys if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to meet you in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care.